found a whole group of sailors living on this remote island. They go spear fishing and um, they're all just kind of living free, living off the land, waiting for this whole thing to pass. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? With Panama in full lockdown and all of the borders closed around us, we had been isolated out in the Las Perlas Islands in Panama. It was not ideal for us to be stuck here with the wet season fast approaching, but we continued to try and make the most of the situation. fish on the Pacific side of Panama. It's crazy. Spearfishing is a sustainable form of fishing if done conservatively. We are very selective about what we shoot. We don't go for parrotfish as they're a crucial part of the ecosystem. We try to be very respectful about what we take from the ocean, as this is our home that we live on. We therefore often come home empty handed, but got lucky with a fish that fed the whole family that day. Yeah, just got this nice little guy here. We're really lucky, we were still allowed to like move around the area and just went spear fishing just on this rock. The visibility is really bad, but um, yeah, got this guy in about 10 meters of water. So we're gonna fill it up now and cook him up for lunch. How's it going, Martina? Oh, you're doing great. I think in, in half an hour you reach the bow, maybe. You're losing. Maybe if you stand up, you got more leverage. <laughs> you're winning. Hey guys, so we just left um, Contadora and Las, we're still at the Lost Fella. Hang on. Hey guys, we just left Contadora, we're heading down to where? Bayonetta. Hey. Bayonetta. Hey guys, we just left Contadora, we're heading down to Bayonetta. We've got some friends down there, so we're going to have our famous beach barbecue. Not sure what we're going to have yet, but we'll see when we get there, hopefully fish. So Bayonetta's really remote, it's at the bottom of the last spot, last per last spot. With Martina. Martina thinks they're mating. They're all jumping to get the girl. So there's like five guys trying to get her. But they do all these kind of acrobatics. And the stronger is the one that the woman gets. Yeah, like in the nightclubs. <laughs> like the nightclubs. There's rocks everywhere and that one's uncharted and it's just popping out. That's like Godzilla. It's the gnarliest rock of the ocean. Is it? Oh no, it's, it's 
bastards! <laughs> Still gnarly. So we've just arrived at a place, a um, nice little anchorage at uh, Bayonetta Island. And we've found a whole group of sailors, probably 10 or 11 boats here. All kind of just living on this remote island. There's no one living on the island, it's completely deserted. They go spare fishing and um, they're all just kind of living free, living off the land, waiting for this whole thing to pass. So I feel pretty lucky to, um, to be here and meet them. And we're just going to go um, do a little fire on the beach tonight and cook a curry. And, uh, a few other boats are bringing, bringing some meals as well and we'll just do a shared sort of potluck dinner sort of a thing. But um, yeah, this place is really cool, so go, go get the fire started. Go to the beach? You go to the beach? Who's going to the beach? Who's going to the beach? <laughs> On our way to dinner, we found something that was way too fun to pass up. Lo que me dijiste la dificultad. The difficult like the, in English? Uh, no, the difficult is uh, the, 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 the distancia del, del punto. <laughs> no pasa nada. El punto de a la cibla. La distancia. Muy importante. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. Well, I want hit here somewhere. <laughs> this is second. No, 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 no. My first shot straight into the bushes. Hey! What? <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> Found them. This and this very important. So she looks up, up, up the dog. Oh. Yeah. We're slowly getting the hang of it. Uh, you got to line the dot up with the two top uh, sights. I'm starting to get kind of towards the direction of the target. <laughs> Same thing. They keep deflecting off the beach and going straight up. So it's the arrow number five that goes in the bush today. I reckon that's mine there. No. <laughs> oh, shit. The sailors had built a little hut on top of the hill and said we were all welcome to use it, so we did just that. <laughs> what do you reckon? I'll just check the spot. <laughs> I'm hungry. Great light. Nice tea, that was mine. 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 We're busted. Baron <laughs> and I were doing regular checks on us to make sure we weren't abusing the law. They look so intimidating and it's scary seeing them come up on us. But they're always so friendly and usually just want to make sure everyone's okay. A nice reminder to never judge a book by its cover. So guys, about two months ago we planted our herb garden. So this one's the basil. It's going to be the best herb garden in the Pacific. I'm just going to eat out of the fresh herbs and veggie garden, so I'm right. Good is it? Same. Huh? Bye. Every morning, six o'clock, I'm gonna water this. So, fingers crossed by the time we get to Tahiti, we'll be selling herbs or the pots, one or the other. Let's pick a bullet. Watch this garden. People told us that we couldn't grow herbs out on the sea, and we have. Look at this. Look the at basils. That. 
This side's a bit sadder because this is the side that McFly ate yesterday. McFly ate all the basil and all the coriander. <laughs> But he didn't get these big bunch bits here, so we've still got a bit of basil, but a coriander and that isn't looking very good. But they're coming back slowly. Probably start selling this soon to all the other yachties. We're going to Espiritu Santo later if you want to come. We got a pretty exciting day ahead of us today. We're going to go on a bit of a trip to uh, Espirito Santo, which is meant to be one of the highlights in the Las Perlas Islands here. And we're going to go with a couple of our friends. So we'll do a little boat convoy through the islands and hopefully get there this afternoon. Right now we're going to go raft up to another friend, Sam, who's got a 60 foot trimaran and uh, he's got uh, internet hotspot capabilities. So we're going to go steal some of his Wi Fi and then we'll get out of here. What time are you guys leaving? Another hour and a half or something. Perfect, we're just gonna go see Sam. Are you gonna go Spiro? Yeah, we'll follow you. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Sam used to run booze cruises in Nicaragua on his trimaran until he came down to Panama to head back into the Caribbean. Thank you for having home. What are you finding in your house? The fly gets scared on the other boats too. So on that side I've got about 1,500 pounds of fasteners, bronze, stainless, metal plate on this side and copper tubing and old electronics and a bunch of trash too, you know. <laughs> but in all fairness, a lot of this shit has gotten me through uh, some tight spots, like I had something break on the engine and I needed some new hose or I needed to make an adapter. Everyone we met was in the same situation as us, and this really brought us together. Got the internet cafe going, Sam's hostel, the boys are on a holiday. Sam made it safely back through the canal and into the Caribbean. His trimaran is now hauled out in Linton Bay and he's doing a delivery on an 80 foot motor sailor back to the States to return to Panama next season. <laughs> With our last minute internet done, we were ready for our next adventure. We'd heard a lot about Espiritu Santo. We were super excited to sail out there. It's so cool sailing in convoy, and to be able to be part of this community was becoming a real special experience for us. The world was going crazy, but we couldn't have been further removed from it all, and we were so thankful for this. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. I just want to take a quick moment to thank all of our Gold Pass or higher uh, Patreon members in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've got Chris Waite, Mark Clark, Elliot Stead, who's a good, good friend from home. Thanks, Elliot. K-Mac and CJ Barkout. Thank you so much for signing up. Uh, it means so much to us. Without you guys, we can't keep making these episodes. So, hope you enjoyed that episode, and we'll see you next week, guys. Yoo!